The most game winning drives in a single season by a quarterback is eight. That record is held by Matthew Stafford. As a matter of fact, there are only three active quarterbacks who have more game winning drives in their career than Stafford. One of them is Matty Ice, who has one more. Big Ben has 11 more, but he's played five more seasons. And of course, TB12, who has 12 more, and he's been playing since before a lot of us were born. So today, we're gonna go back in every single Madden Stafford has been in and get a game winning drive with them. If you wanna get your account grinded all the way to the max level, or if you want players, you want coins you want training you know where to go man muttreserve.com use my code ck for 15 percent off your order and i promise you'll be rich one day we begin in madden 10 when he began as a 79 overall first overall pick former georgia bulldog and of course megatron yes, is sir. who he's gonna be throwing to for the most part i know you're probably like just throwing up the megatron every play well calvin johnson was only in his second year i believe maybe third year there it is pettigrew definitely one of the better players on this offense brings up a third down for i think it's time we target megatron there we go oh yeah they sent a blitz beautiful Get off my mans, bro. That's Megatron shaking off would-be tacklers. Remember, we need more than three. We need a touchdown, okay? We need six. Calvin continuing to carry. Barely got it off. Calvin once again, man coverage. He's going to take it to the house. Stafford gives the Lions the lead. And there's Bullocks with the interception to seal the W. One Madden down for Stafford and the Lions. Madden 11, he was up to an 80 overall. Pretty much the same roster, same weapons to throw to. Us having two Johnsons on the team is kind of confusing. They both have similar builds, both similar numbers. Second and inches are gonna run right up the gut. Old lines blocking really well. Look at all those pancakes. The Lions actually had some talent. I don't know how they were only a 68 overall in this Madden. We're going right up the gut again. Why not? Touchdown. Now would be a great time to like the video. Would you look at that? We have ourselves the football with 26 seconds left. The Packers did nothing with it. F it. Let's go deep to Megatron. Oh, he caught it, but it was out of bounds. Ooh, one on one coverage again. They want to do this? They really want to do this. Just had to wait for him to get off the line of scrimmage. Calvin caught the football. That's what he does. I'm going to put Pettigrew on a goal route, a streak route, just in case it's zone. Oh, square wide open. That's a laser, Burleson. No, there's no time left. I tried to call the timeout. We got to go to OT. I just, I don't want to give him another chance. So here we go. Megatron, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. No way. Charles Woodson with the deflection. Wow, Rodgers did what we were trying to do. Gets the game winning drive, we gotta try again. All right, here we go. Another chance for Stafford and company. Just about two minutes left in this game. Now that we know Woodson is who's guarding Megatron, we're gonna be a lot more careful about where we decide to throw the football. There's nobody open. Actually, I see Megatron coming across the field. That's what I like to see, you never give up on your quarterback. So you have no choice but to take the three. Hopefully that holds up. It all comes down to this, Mason Crosby from 53 yards or 54, one of those is gonna be wide left and Stafford gets the game winning drive in Madden 11. Madden 12, he was still an 80 overall. Now he has Javid Best, 96 speed as his running back and Megatron went up to a 93. Found ourselves down four against Adrian Peterson and the Vikings gonna start off with a run. Javid Best on a cutback. Come on Stafford, throw a block one time. Megatron, big catch over the middle. I don't know how he held on to that. I'm gonna keep it simple and go to slants right here. Oh, that's a dot right there. Young gets the touchdown. We have the lead. They have one timeout remaining, 31 seconds. They need to get in field goal range. Oh, that should have been picked off. Not sure what my man's was thinking. Follett needs to do better. Third and two, clock stops after the SWAT. Peterson drops the ball. It all comes down to this. I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball. I would not be surprised. Levy can't get there. They get the first. Come here, ball! And Dama Kong Su getting the sack. That should be game. 
Three game winning drives down from Matthew Stafford. We're moving on to Madden 13. Madden 13, he was up to a 91 overall, the highest he's been in any Madden. Oh yeah, and Megatron was on the cover. He was a 99. Now the Bears in the early to mid 2000s were absolutely disgusting. They had Erlacher, Briggs, Peppers, Peanut Tillman, the list goes on and on. So this is, this is gonna be really tough. Stafford going to job at best, making it a manageable third down. Approaching three minutes left in the game. We're going to spread it out. Oh, he's wide open. Megatron getting us the first down and then some stand on his feet. Last play for the two minute warning. That's a laser right there. Young gets us inside the red zone. Gonna try the quick pass. Calvin. He cannot be covered one-on-one. Lions have the lead. And they're going to keep it. Stafford gets another game winning drive. On to Madden 25. Madden 25. He was an 85 overall. He now had Reggie Bush in his backfield. And Megatron was still a 99. We're down four points against the Cowboys. Try to get one more playoff before uh two minute warning they're sending the blitz we just get rid of it Pettigrew getting a nice block and the first down now reggie bush only had two thousand yard rushing seasons one of them was in detroit this season so uh, yeah he was actually pretty decent for him and he was pretty good out the backfield man making people miss in the open field getting out of bounds at the 30. Oh yeah, nice dot right there. Burleson holding on after a big hit. Will we really go an entire drive without targeting Megatron? I can't let it happen. We're gonna go to him on this play. Hopefully we don't score too quick. There it is, Megatron making it look easy. Stafford does it again. And that right there is the last play of the game. Another game winning drive by Stafford. Madden 15, he was up to an 87 overall. He had Ebron as a rookie. Golden Tate was now the number two, so his wide receiver core is really good. And this time we're up against the LOB Seattle Seahawks who were on the cover. So this is not gonna be a breeze. I'll tell you right now, just gonna dump it off, take what the defense gives us. Still had Reggie Bush, of course. I think this is his last season in Detroit. We cannot abandon the run game. Reggie gonna get the first. Stafford off his back foot almost throws an interception. Wagner with great coverage. All right, let's stop playing games and get the first down. No funny business. Tate with a nice step. Gonna get the first down. Maxwell's too slow. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't go for it. Fourth and one. They have no more timeouts. We get this first, we win. And we have a 97 overall Megatron who's not open, damn it. But Reggie Bushes, let's go. Hey, the defense playing a part in it too, man. These comebacks are only leading to W's because they get a stop at the end. We're on to Madden 16. Madden 16, one of my favorite Maddens ever. He was an 84 overall. They're playing some good man defense, man. Don't sleep on the Browns. This one they had Joe Hayden, who was one of the better cornerbacks in the league. But we got Joyke Bell shaking off tackles and getting us in the red zone. Gonna try to skinny post on his third and eight. Put Tate on a slant just in case. Oh, he's wide open. Golden Tate, touchdown. Let's go. There it is, final play of the game. Stafford with another game winning drive. Madden 17, he was back up to an 85 overall, but there was no more Calvin Johnson. So from here on out, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. Gold Tate's still very solid, but it's really just him and Ebron as the only receiving threats. And Von Miller starting off with a face mask. Thank you. Wide open, baby. Wide open. Marvin Jones Jr. was a young guy, but he definitely had talent. Let's see what the flag is. Another 15-yard penalty. We'll take it. Let's go to the QB sneak, man. This close to the goal line. Stafford's just going to do it himself. Are you sure about that? Right, so maybe not the QB sneak. Instead, second and goal. R1 wide open. Burton gets us the lead. Another Madden, another comeback for Stafford. Madden 18, he was an 87 overall, and he's going up against the GOAT and the Patriots, and it's snowing. Oh yeah, out of the pocket, look at Stafford making plays. I wanna make this the last drive, so I'll put two clock on. There's a little more pressure involved, but uh, I think we can still make it happen. We're gonna scramble and pick up the first down. 30 seconds left, circle wide open. Let's go, Marvin Jones getting us inside the one. Golden Tate, the third, on a slant, on an island. He's not open. We're gonna have to scramble Stafford for the rushing touchdown. I like that same play on this two point conversion. I, if they go to man, I'm going to Tate. They went to zone. We're gonna scramble again. We're gonna scramble again. As good as Brady is, he was a 99, even though he was on a cover. No way he's completing this pass. Stafford has another 
game winning drive. Mad 19, he was an 85 overall. We got him going up against one of the few quarterbacks that has more game winning drives than him, Big Ben Roethlisberger, and Antonio Brown was on the cover. So the Steelers definitely are one of the tougher opponents we faced in this video. I really don't want Ben to get the ball back. So uh, we're two o'clock once again. Okay, Theo Riddick, yes sir. Thanks for leaving him. Riddick getting us inside the five. Something's telling me they're a man again. It's zone. We're gonna scramble. Stafford has the wheels. No way we let Big Ben get this game when it drive. Lawson with the INT seals it up. Three Maddens remaining. For the first time since Madden 10 is rookie season, Stafford was back in the 70s in Madden 20. Oh, that's a nice route right there. Marvin Jones with the ginormous catch. Gonna hand it right back off to carry on. And he's gonna get us the touchdown. No more golden tape, but we still have some solid receivers. Two point conversion. Danny Amendola with the one handed grab. Last play of the game. Oh my God, he almost caught that. Walker gets the tipped INT and Stafford gets another game winning drive. Madden 21, his final year in Detroit. He was up to an 83 overall. We got him against the Super Bowl champion, Buccaneers. Starting off with a dot to Marvin Jones. Going to the screen, just reached a two minute warning. Barely got rid of it. DeAndre Swift getting us the first down. Gonna roll out of the pocket. We got my man's wide open, Kenny G. Oh damn, nobody's open. Go upfield, Hawkinson, Stafford gonna scramble again. We're out at the 17. But we also have to watch the clock. We cannot let Brady get the ball back because we know what he's gonna do with it if he does get it. Here we go, Hawkinson getting the catch and we're just gonna score. That might be too much time for Brady, but it is what it is. And that's the game. That man is the truth. Okay, Desmond getting the game ceiling INT. We have one Madden left. And then he began Madden 22 with an 83 overall rating. Trying to stay away from Wagner. We have Odell wide open. He gets us the first. Cooper Cup needs to be higher than a 91. I'm sorry. That man looks like he, he's unstoppable. Uh, he should at least be a 95. In my humble opinion, he just catches everything. He's always open. I think it's safe to say he's the best receiver we've played with in this video since Calvin Johnson. And we've played with a lot of good receivers, man. Odell being one of them, but Cup is just on a different level. We're gonna take off with Stafford, slide down for safety. And can we talk about how many good receivers the Rams have? Even with Robert Woods injured, they still have three above average receivers, in my opinion. Van Jefferson, do not sleep on them. We're gonna dump it off to Daryl Henderson, who's also a stud when healthy. Second and seven, just barely gonna get rid of it. Damn, they're like quadruple teaming Cooper Cup. Jesus Christ. No one's open. Stafford, he's gonna have to make a play. Just gonna have to make a play on the ground. We're at the one. Oh, Higby's wide open, that's too easy. Stafford does it again. Will it hold up against Wilson? They have three timeouts. Oh yeah, not to mention, we still have to get the two point conversion. Gonna put Cup on a zig route in case it's man. Jamal Adams cannot cover him. Cornerbacks can't cover him. What makes you think Jamal can? Oh, interception, let's go. That right there is gonna seal up the W. And that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Let me know which player you want to see me do this with next. It could be offense, defense, or special teams. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Like the video, please. It helps so much. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Nobody safe. Came from heaven, we fresh out the gate. And I look like I came from LA. From New Jersey, I look like LA. I'm a water, I'm from in LA. I'm a get it, it's my for the tape. Ride the beamer when I'm out of state. Could have be almost got me a case. No Olympic, I'm winning a race. Now I'm on one cause I'm killing the game. Talking crazy, I'm going insane. Shifting gears and I'm switching the lane. How about stations just going to tame? Going up so I'm making a name.